All right, so here's the situation we got here. So basically, I have this tripod, and I use it to record most of my videos that I make. And whenever I make a video, I either use this webcam or my phone to record it. And both of them I usually use on the tripod, with the exception of this video, because I'm filming the tripod, as you might see right there. But when I want to mount my phone on the tripod, I use this thing. It just clamps onto the phone like that. And you can see that in order to mount it to the tripod, I have to use a quarter inch bolt. And that's how all camera mounts is. But this tripod has a quick connector and it's supposed to make it easy to take the camera off. You could see that this webcam just comes off really easy. But if you want to actually take the camera off, you have to undo this bolt right here. And this is a quarter inch bolt. So basically you're just left with this piece of plastic right here, which slides into this mounting point like this and clamps on holding a camera to the tripod. So this kind of gave me an idea. Why do I have to undo this every time I want to use a different camera and just go through all the trouble of screwing this thing on and then screwing it off and screwing this thing on? Why can't I just 3D print one of these and just use a standard quarter inch bolt? But like, for example, the, these ones right here. You see, these are quarter inch bolts. I could just 3D print a piece of plastic and put one of these in there and it should work just the same. So let's get to doing that right now. So in order to make one of these as a 3D model, we're going to have to do some measurements and I got out some calipers to make some measurements. So here we are in Google SketchUp and you can see that I made a pretty simple shape. Uh, it's basically just a square on top of another square piece right here. As you can see, uh, we could do some measurements, I guess, if you care. So if you look, uh, this is six millimeters tall and this square piece is roughly 65 by 50 millimeters. And the last important part of this whole assembly right here is this square in the middle. This is where the quarter inch bolt is going to go. So this is basically the bottom of the camera mount. So now we have this printed, uh, you can see that I printed it in PLA with a layer height of 0.4 millimeters and it's printed at 30% infill. This is the original one that came with the camera and you can see they're roughly the same size on the bottom. They both have a square piece. Uh, this one has a hollowish square but this one is solid. And uh, that's mainly just to help it print better because I don't want to have like a, a thin edge. In order to mount a camera, I just need this bolt and I could put it through there and then it fits nicely in this hole. And then we have a tripod mount as you see here. 
One thing to note is that this one has a bolt that's quite a bit shorter than this one is. So, uh, you, well, one thing you could do is you could put a nut here, or what I'm probably going to end up doing is just cutting this off. Uh, cutting this in half, most likely. But for what I'm using it for is this piece right here, and this is to mount the phone. And the, the way that it mounts is that you could screw it all the way up in there because this is just empty space right here. So let's screw it on. So you can see right now I have my tripod and the webcam is mounted in the original mounting bracket. And let's say I want to use my phone right now. Well, I'm recording with the phone so you're not going to see it obviously, but you're going to see it mount. So we could just take this off put this aside and instead of messing with any bolts we could just get this with a new 3d printed mount and slide it right up in here connect it solidly and put my phone in here and we could see that it does in fact mount so all the you could